Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, first of all, I have to apologize for the setting behind me. Yeah, this is being done in my bathroom um, because having some lighting issues down in the kitchen where I usually do it because I don't have like professional lighting or anything like that. Uh, I have like a pretty good light over top and then I use some natural light that diffuses it a little bit. But I've uh, been having some problems with the lighting in there. Long story, I, I'm going to get it fixed up. So this is a temporary thing, so apologize for the setting. It's very bland and terrible. But this is what's important right now. I'm going to focus on the BAM box, horror box for March. Yes, as we talked about, it's on the later side. Uh, if you want to check out why all that went down, go listen to my original box unboxing for the March one, um, which was a pretty solid box. Uh, and in the beginning it explains everything. So been hearing a lot of good hype about this box, but I don't want the hype to influence me at all. So I'm I'm hearing that people are really, really liking it, but I'm like, I'm going to not feed into the hype so much. So I'm gonna go into this relatively neutral and uh, hopefully it is pretty awesome. So Oop, dropped one of my extra knives. Let's open this sucker up. Oop. As everyone knows, I'm mainly looking for an awesome pin and an awesome print. Uh, auto good autographed items, always a nice extra, um, and, you know, proper up because I'm usually not big into, but. All right, tissue paper for my cat. One, those are two. Two tissue paper for my cat. Thank you, Bambox, she appreciates it. So, there's a few things in here. All right. I can go with this first thing that is also wrapped up. So I have three pieces of tissue paper, but there's something wrapped in this one. I assume this is one of the prop replicas. Wow, this is like really, really wrapped up. I don't have a clue what this is. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh man, that looks really cool. All right, this is, okay. As far as, like, a prop replica goes, this is friggin' awesome. Like, I I totally dig this. So, like, it's a little... It, it feels like it's, like, pottery. It's a, gr a gremlin. Look at this. Let's see, let's see him better if I... Look at this guy. He looks great. Sorry if the lighting's not the best, but... You see the bottom? I guess he'll... The way he sits, he sits kind of like, not exactly like this. He sits a little bit like this, but that's fine. That's really cool. Get a good look. Look at this dude. Look at this guy. Wow. Okay, that's the, this is the best like prop replica thing they've done. That's really cool. That's really nice detail on that. I like that a lot. That's really cool. That'll be a really nice display piece. Really dig it. Um. Here's another, what I assume is like a prop, oh my gosh. Okay, this prop replica. <sighs> Actually, I gotta say this, <laughs> ooh, I I'm very excited. This is even better than that gremlin thing. So this is the best, the gremlin is the second best. Um, I'm a huge fan of the movie Trick or Treat. Here you can see it against the white door. Look at this. The chewed up lollipop that Sam uses to slit throats. Uh, the girl in the beginning is, is the only person he actually kills with this. He, he goes after the old guy with it, but um, it's like a, like a paper straw on the bottom. You can see it's actually like hollow. I don't know if you can really see, but it's like hollow in there. Um, so it's a little bit flimsy with the construction there. I'd like it to be, you know, like plastic, but you know, I'm not going to play with this a whole lot or anything. It's going to be displaced. So it's not that big of a deal. And this is just like a nice heavy duty plastic to it. See, it's pretty thick, you can see. Yeah, this is awesome. That's really cool. That's really, really, really cool. I like that a lot. That and the, uh, and the gremlin, off to a really good start here. Now, oh, okay, so there's a, there's a mask in here. And I remember them saying that Everyone's going to get a signed mask, I believe, for whatever the property was for the autograph. I'm going to, I'll do the mask, like, try to do that last because it's a big item. So, what the, I don't know what this one is. Oh, uh, mm, is that what that is? 
Okay, got it. From Pet Cemetery. So the pin, really well made. Not really a fan of this particular pin, but it's been a while since I've seen Pet Cemetery. I don't remember what this character is from Pet Cemetery, unfortunately. Oh, whoops. Put my light on there. Oh, does everything look better? Yes, it does. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I don't remember what that is. Mm, not really a fan of that pin design. Um, I mean, it's well made, but eh, just not really a fan of that. Oh, well. It's kind of like nondescript, so I don't know. All right, so the art print, what I assume is the art print, yes. Oh, and the pin was done by Nick Kokoza. Kokoza. Uh, the fan art print is done by David Hartman. Oh, oh, cool. Uh, I believe this is from Return of the Living Dead. I got number 573 out of 950. That's cool. Look at that. That's actually quite cool. Wow, that must be a uh, tar man, as people call him. That, like, kind of, like, melting toxic zombie from Return of the Living Dead. That's really cool. That looks really good. It says brains in the atom bomb up here. That's good. It looks that looks really nice. I can't complain about that. That's awesome. So I guess this is the last item I assume. And it is oh okay. This is cool. I'm not a huge fan of this particular uh, movie, but I do think that this is a cool item and idea. So this is a signed mask. Most people who have seen the movie will be able to get this right off the bat. This is from The Strangers, and I guess they were putting this out because Strangers Pray at Night, or I think it's called Pray or Pray at Night, I don't know. The new one came out, at any rate. And uh, this is the mask from the main guy character who's a killer, and I, it is signed by the guy. They have the authenticity. Oh, it is Pray at Night. Uh, Damien Maffei, who played the man in the mask in the movie. I don't know if he did it for the second one, or just the second one, or if he did it for a first and second one. But there you can see that. That's a great idea. I like that a lot. As you can see the signatures down here. It's actually a little hard to make out just because it's like burlap, but it's cool. I mean, and for them, this is kind of easy to do because it's a per very simplistic mask. So you just have to like cut out some holes, draw a little bit on it, and cut the right size out. And I mean, you could legit, you know, put your head in there you could legit wear it it looks a little bit like a paper bag but i mean that's kind of how it was in the movie it's very simplistic and stuff that's cool i like that so then there's the spoiler spoiler sheet they're not doing like a full-on spoiler sheet recently but we'll see uh if they go back to that i'm assuming so they have the sam's lollipop prop replica obviously that was yeah that's my favorite thing in the box by far that is phenomenal i gotta figure out how to display that because that's i love it the pet cemetery fan art pin with two possible variants numbered 250 or 99 uh obviously i probably wish i got the 99 one because i'm not really a fan well is this the 90 i didn't look at the number on the back i'm assuming this is the out of 250 yeah well there's no number on it so it must be out of the 250 so um then they have the Gremlins fetus replica. Okay, it was a fetus. Okay, Gremlins fetus, that makes sense. Uh, Return of the Living Dead fan art print with one possible variant numbered out of 250, okay. And then the Damien Maffei signed 8x10 photo or mask. Oh, I thought everyone was gonna get a mask. Oh, okay. So you either got a photo signed from him or you got a mask, so I must have gotten lucky because I got the mask, which I'm sure is not the common one. That's cool. Um, all right. Yeah, really happy with this. Um, just to recap, not huge with the pin. I mean, their pins are always really well made, but I'm just not big on that particular pin. Um, Pet Cemetery is cool, but if it was something different from Pet Cemetery, I'd be more into it. The signed mask, very cool. The art print, very cool with Tar Man on it. Like that a lot. The um, little gremlin fetus it just looks so cool. It looks really good. Can you see it even better now? Oh, yeah, you can see it a little bit better even. It's like glossy and cool. It's not like super heavy. You can feel that it's like probably kind of hollow on the inside, but it's got a little bit of heft to it. And then obviously the piece, piece de resistance, Sam's Killer Lollipop. 
This is something I've really been hoping they were going to do. Because um, I've seen someone... There's an unboxer named Johnny Tez. Does a lot of horror unboxing stuff. Really cool, interesting guy. And he has one of these in the background of where he unboxes. So I've seen this numerous times and been like, oh, God, I wish... I wish I could get something like that. And then when Bam started doing their horror box, I was like, oh, that'd be nice if they did this. The other thing I really want to see them do, I sent them this idea. I don't know if they'll take it. I know they take ideas, but they don't necessarily do them or are able to execute them. A fake, um, like a replica of the uh, the syringe with the glowing liquid from Reanimator, I think it would be really cool. You can just put like a fiber optic cable at, on the end for the actual like syringe portion so it doesn't actually hurt anyone. And then just like some highlighter liquid on the inside. It wouldn't be too tough to make, but I don't know what the logistics of that are or the cost of it or anything. So it was just an idea I threw out. That would be amazing if they did it. But this is like, that's awesome. This is a really good box. Um, I think overall... Yeah, this is probably, probably my favorite BAM box overall. Um, yeah. So the uh, the autograph, I'd, say, I'd probably say my favorite autograph I've gotten from them was the Sasuke Twins. That's from the, the horror box. But early on in the regular box, when they did a horror-themed one for October, I did get lucky and get a Linda Blair-signed uh, photo. So that's my favorite autograph I've gotten from BAM box. So... Killing it, Bam Box. Doing really well. Um, I look forward to more of the horror boxes. Obviously, I do the original. And I always look forward to those, but the horror is my go-to. It is my bread and butter. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So, at any rate, thank you, everyone, for checking this out. Thank you, Bam Box, for doing what you're doing. And until next time, keep it brutal.